Hello, I'm Rod Phillips. I'm your host here on the West Texas Sportsman. Today, I'm going fishing at Lake Falcon with my friend Mark Mitchell. Now, you've seen Mark. I fished with him before a, a couple of times on Lake Fork, and we always catch big bass. Well, today, like I said, it's the 1st of February, and we're at Zapata, Texas on Lake Falcon. And uh, it's a little chilly, but it's not as chilly as it is there in Dallas, is no, it? No, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. He's been here for a week, and he does some trips here, and you want to get his name and number, get get your pencil and paper ready, because I'm going to tell you, you're going to want to come down here early part of February and fish with him, and we're going to show you why. Man, let's get after it. I really appreciate you letting me come out here. I'm ready to go get them. All so right. we'll get some more big ones. All right, let's do it. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. All right, we're getting ready to get started here on Lake Falcon this morning. We got our Bass Pro Shop equipment. We got Pro Qualifier rod, Pro Qualifier reel, seven to one gear ratio, twenty pound line, Texas rig, Yum Dinger. And we're gonna take these and flip them in the bushes this morning, anywhere between six and twelve foot of water, and see what we can do. Right now, all we need is a bass bill on the other end of that, and we'll start getting them going. Now, now you Texas rig them because of, because of front, you like it straight. Just yeah, because it's still cold. These cool fronts have come through down south. They normally don't make it this south, this far south. We've had a cool front come in, and sometimes the fish they get a little. Uh, they just don't want the water movement as well. So these straight tail worms like this do really well, and, and they go right directly down in these bushes without catching the tails and stuff. So uh, when we're pitching bushes, we're going to do this. So we're going to fish the edge. We'll fish worms and stuff and creature baits on the edge. But that's the bait we're going to get them on right there this morning. As soon as we get after them, little Texas rig. That's a young dinger. Mardi Gras color. We're going to try that and see what happens. Sounds good. Let's get it. Let's go get them. It doesn't have too long. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, that was just one. That yeah. was it. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't feel him. And I sat there and I waited for a second. And I'm like, okay, and then I'm gonna reel down and see if he's there. And then when I, by the time I reel down and see if he's there, he jerked me and let go of it. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Well, maybe he's still home. Let's go over here. That's real small by Falcon's tail, but he'll get, good start. he'll get us started this morning. So. Yes, sir. Right in the middle of that bush. Dropped it down there a couple of times and kind of got to go to the bottom. Fish. Go back and turn it down over here. And one. Got the stink off anyway. Get it started. Yeah, dropped it down in there a couple of times. Just couldn't get to go to the bottom. And I finally got to go to the bottom. He was there. I want to see where there's another one in there with it. Sometimes they two in there. Mom and Daddy. Stack up. Yeah. Wait a minute. Right down that big old bush. Oh. I waited just a second because I knew he'd already hit it for coming at me. I hope that got right here. But I couldn't wait much longer than we did. He'd already moved another foot toward me. And I just swung to get nothing. <laughs> swing that about about it. Swung and hit absolutely nothing. Hey, baby. Uh -oh. Boy, you pulled me down. Got me in a bush. There you come out. God, one bush right to another. I feel like we can be. Solid, fish. nice fish, yeah. Woo, bushes. Come on up here, big baby. Yes, sir. I thought it felt like a pretty nice little fish. Falcon bass. He got a little boo boo there by his eye. Got in a knife fight. <laughs> Baby, he found plenty of bushes for you, didn't he? Oh man, this whole lake is just so solid. You can't hardly get a bait to the bottom because there's so many trees. 
You know, this is something you got to deal with. You got to come fish this lake with good quality line, good hard equipment, high speed reel, so that you can kind of jerk them out of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. If you got a slow speed reel, you you can see then that fish wasn't huge, and he kind of worked me over pretty good. Always check your line, make sure you don't have no boo boos. Let's go see if we can get another one. Absolutely. Yeah, Maybe change your bait up there a little bit. We sharpen this hook just to make sure. Yeah, they got a little oh. power. Got a little power. A little chunk. All right, got the stink off. Well, you know, what I was doing, I was fishing with different worm. Well, Oh, Mark here was catching three or four, and Mama didn't raise no fool, man. I said, give me one of them worms. Well, actually, he said, let me put you on one of these worms, and I said, okay, that'll work, and sure enough, got him. All right. That felt good. I knew you'd come through soon. Heck right? yeah, I just needed to... Get warmed up, just like the old son. Just go ahead and get warmed up. The sun starts out low every morning and finishes pretty high. <laughs> yep. Now we'll catch another one. Now one thing you want to do when you come here to Lake Falcon, Lake Amasai, somewhere where you have an international type lake, what I mean by that, where it's Mexico on one side and American on the other side, you want to get you a Mexican license. I, it's just good to have because, you know, you, you never know when you're going to get checked. And you're over here in their country, you're, you know, mercy. Yeah, you're at their mercy, so that's one thing you want to do because the fish is good over here in Mexico. We catch us another one here real quick. I was always told, though, these fish don't know whether they're Mexican or Texican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just, I wonder if they just get less pressure, maybe. Uh, you know? Yeah, everybody don't want to buy the license. Everybody, everybody don't want to buy the license. Texas side, yeah. yeah, that's all right. I'll catch him. That fish, he just very lightly tap you and pull you down. No, no, he, he thought me pretty it. good. He, he thought me pretty good. Pump, pump. I knew it was, I mean, it was a no-doubter. You just need his mama. Yes, sir. Or his grandma. <laughs> well, now, I'm going to show you what I do now. Because this guy the other day, he said, oh, I don't believe in that, but, but there's a reason why I do what I do. We're gonna take and hook this worm tail up. And I'll tell you why. Most people will look at a power worm, and that's what we've got here, a Berkeley power worm. It has a flat bottom on it. You know, so it'll lay on the bottom like this right here if you hook your hook to that side, because the hook's gonna always pull that worm down to that side. So as you see, the tail action lay, would lay flat and it would lay on the bottom just like so, if you can see this in the camera. It would lay on the bottom just like that. What we're going to do is we're going to come in with this hook and we're going to hook it where the tail action and the hook are in the same direction. So we're not going to hook into that flat seam. We're going to go on the side here. Right, everybody always assumes that's the side you should hook your hook. But tail action up works best for me because it's a natural curl. So now what we've got, the hook's on the bottom. When this worm stops and sets on bottom, the natural curl of the tail will do just like that right there when it sets on the bottom. It'll float up and it'll curl back toward the head like a scorpion tail. And that allows that fish to come in there and pick this tail end up because it's pointing up at an angle. If you did turn it on the flat side, it would lay just like that right there on the bottom. Just like that if you had the hook on the other side. So what we're going to try to do is make it sit just like that and give them an opportunity to get it. Huh. I like that. Baby. Boy, you are mad too. I ain't kidding. There we go. That's a little bit oh, better falcon bass right there. Yes, sir. There you go. Just curl the tail up for us. That's pointer. This, this lake is just loaded with this size fish and more better, but I tell you, they are fun. I don't care if they're two pounds or ten pounds, they're all fun. Beautiful fish, love the way they fight. There we go. Let her grow, go back and grow up. That's a female, huh? Yep. Yeah. There's another one.
There we go. One on each side of the boat. Not as big as yours, but he's still. Hey, they're starting to get turned on. We'll take them. I got still you. pretty solid. I think it's as good as mine. Get down here. Like you said, saw the boat and he got hanging. That's not as big as yours, but it's still. That's back to back, baby. Afternoon. Oh boy, I'm telling you. It ain't that good. I say that, boy, he just decided to keep finding another gear. Yeah, he just, boy, these fish are so tough down here, yeah. I don't know what it is about them. But... They make a good cut for him. He's pretty chunky. Yeah. Coming up here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. He got me in some bushes and boy, when he come out, he found another gear hook just fell right out. That's a, what, a three pounder? Chunk. Yeah, three and some change, probably. Not good enough for sacks on this lake, but still fun to catch. We'll Hold let on. him grow, go back and Hold grow on up. just a minute. Oh, oh sorry. It's, not, it's good to me. It's good to you, <laughs> yeah. that's all that matters. It's good to you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I switched you back over to the orange tail. Look what you do to Yeah, him. he's been bumped up a bunch. There we go. Very good, very good. That makes my day, week, and month. That'll better. When it was in that brush, I thought it was a lot bigger. Still another yep. little football. Yep, they're always here when they got a tree attached. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we well, I tell seven you. Seven holes that size today. Man, that size is a little bit above it, man. Yep. Well, I tell you what, folks. I've come a long way, had a good time. But the sun's going down. I don't know if I'm going to catch another. I'm going to try. But anyway, Mark. Hey. Just in case. I'm hey, you got to come to Falcon. Yes, sir. I want to thank you for letting me come out on your boat. Folks, you see the amount of fish that we caught. And you see how hard Mark works to get you on fish. The number's at the bottom of the screen. You definitely want to give this guy a call. For Falcon, for Fork, if you're in that area, especially in Dallas, you don't, it's not just Fork, is oh, it? Any of the East Texas, like Monticello, Bob Sandlin, any ones that I don't have a tournament on, I can guide you on, show you how to catch fish on them, and would uh, enjoy having you as a companion. <laughs> Folks, give them a call.